Little Miss Recap contains adult language and is intended for entertainment purposes only. Hi, welcome to Little Miss Recap, the podcast where we don't buy our hating mother-in-law knife. I wouldn't do that either. It didn't even occur to me we should not potentially buy her weapons. Yeah. But probably yeah. a good idea to not buy her weapons. Good idea, Lindsay. Mm-hmm. Um, guys, I will say, I thought this episode was better. It was better, and I'm going to say, because now we're talking about actual issues. Yes. We're actually talking about these relationships. Yes. I think if if Lindsay weren't such a lunatic, mm-hmm. and Elmer had personality, because mm-hmm. both of these things are are the way it is, yeah. their story would be incredibly compelling. I agree. But I agree. she's such an idiot, and he's dull as dishwater yeah, like are you attracted do, do you think it's hot that i look like your sister like why are you asking why would him you this? ask that yeah wah, this, wah, like for the camera wah, wah. exactly it's like a bad sitcom now of course do you remember the fact she said to him do you ever look at horses butts and want to do stuff yes yes <laughs> oy, oy, oy. um so we started to talk off here and i told you save it yes yes you um, did Let's talk a little bit about Love is Blind, guys. I will put the timestamp in. Yes, the we don't spoil anybody. Episode. Because I'm all caught up. Okay. So I'm recording with Tess later. Still don't have okay. my notes done. Okay, great. Um, what are you thinking? I'm really enjoying this season. I really enjoy it. I think they got the casting down. The casting is great. I really love when there are like four to six couples, like the C. Mm-hmm. Milton and. And Lydia and and Izzy and Stacy, like it got really dull at the end. Cause I'm like, okay, I don't need to spend half an episode with any of these people in the rock museum, the rock museum, Mm -hmm. really cool location for a date. I mean, actually very cool. Those dates were very cool locations. Yeah. 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 Like I don't need a half an hour of each of these people. No, I just don't. But I feel like these people are more mature. Mm -hmm. I feel like cat, notwithstanding cat, notwithstanding. I feel like they're talking about real issues. I do feel like Tom is Tom. Okay. So I've come around to Tom. I think he's hot. He is hot, but But he's not a good guy. He has a Bond villain vibe to him. He's like a darkness. Are you Bond villain or are you Bond villain adjacent? There's a darkness in him. I don't really know what it is. I kind of agree. I don't. There's a reason a guy. I'm sorry. There's a reason a guy at this point is 37 years old, is as good looking as he is, is apparently as financially career-wise successful as he is and hasn't been married what's what's going or, on there? or engaged or engaged or, or anything. i don't think he's been anything no what what's going on there and i don't i don't mean to say everyone has to get married by a certain point but like yeah who are you i got to uh, tell you the Harriet dating Olson? market the dating market's real bad out there he would rise to the top real quick so there's something yeah, yeah. i i do something. i do agree with you i'm not loving him Okay. I just feel when he has that little stash on that he looks like a Bond villain. He does a little bit. Um, he does a little bit. I, I'm i not attracted to Freddy, but I love him. I love him. I find him so insanely hot. I kind of can't even look at him. But he's not at all my type. This mm-hmm. is not my usual. Mm-hmm. There's just something about his face. He's so pretty. I'm riding and for Benaya. I know. Well, we're going to get to Benaya in a second because I need to say things about Benaya. Let me finish Freddy. One of the things, I mean, obviously, it's the thing that made everyone super fall in love with Freddie if they weren't already. His relationship with his brother uh, is the sweetest fucking thing I've ever seen. I don't mm-hmm. know if you, you probably, you probably have not listened to Jake and Matt yet because I know you like to wait till you record yes, to listen no, to them. No, I haven't listened. Jake, like Matt is just describing Freddie even asking his brother to be his best man. And, and Jake's Jake like, was crying. And I know this because so was I. So were you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I was not. Jake, but Jake and I, I often cry at, this, at similar yeah. things. I know it. It was. He's just so sweet. His family's sweet. He's so sweet. And when he I'm said his brother, with his, sister. Made, his, his brother Sidora. has made his brother has made him made who him he is. Nanny. I know. Oh my god. Wow. He wow. posts. I follow him on Instagram now. He posted a story today of him and Jack and Betsy Dora as little 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 guys. Betsy Dora. Betsy Dora. Mm-hmm. It's the cutest fucking thing. Yeah, it's very cute. sweet. His they're family cute. seems very sweet. Like yeah. they just seem like good people. And yeah, he seems to be doing real well for himself at 29 years old. Yeah. Running his own funeral home. It doesn't seem like it's a family business either. 
No, I thought maybe it was. I thought right, we were going to the Fisher. Fisher. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, everyone's calling him hot Nate Fisher, which I'm like, okay, first of all, how dare you? Nate Fisher is hot. Yeah. Nate Fisher does. We don't need a hot Nate Fisher. Nate Fisher is hot. Nate Fisher is the hot. And the more emotionally unavailable he is, the hotter the he got. Yeah. Um, like, duh. <laughs> Ollie has, re- I've come around to Ollie. I didn't like okay. Ollie in episodes yeah. one through four. I He's like him now. Down I love Demi. I love Demi. Todd She's is fantastic. Todd is real hot for Demi. Yeah. She's, she's like, beautiful. oh my God, she's she's so look at her. Beautiful. And when they said they, I, he missed it, that they said they weren't having sex before they got married. Mm-hmm. And Todd says, I'm like, remember they haven't banged yet. He's like, what? What? No, I think, bang her? I think she was kidding. I don't think she was. Yeah, because she was like, oh, kids, don't have sex before marriage. Yeah, I think she was kidding. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I, I, I took it she, seriously. In other words, I think she didn't want to admit on TV that they were banging. That was my impression. Okay. I could be wrong. We could. I mean, one of us is wrong. One of us is right. What do you think of Benaya? Tell me everything. So I really like Benaya. Mm. I like him a lot. Also, he and his mother have the exact same face. <laughs> exact yes. same face. Yes. My yes. son is wearing my face. Yes. Um. I thought he did not need to go talk to Sam. I thought he made a fool of himself. He it needs felt, to let this go. He does it, not need to white knight for her. She's fine. Thank you. It felt white knighty. Yeah. Yes. And I didn't like it. She doesn't need that. If, Does if it, she, Doesn't she, though? Well, I don't think the way she's presenting, she needs him to go and yell at Sam. Right. But she came away from Sam thinking, or at least saying to Benaya, he's he's a nice guy. He's misunderstood. What? So who cares? But who cares? If she's past him, who mm-hmm. cares what she thinks of him? Yeah. Yeah. She's just trying to get past it. She's I get just it. trying to get past it. She, her body told her everything she needed to know about Sam. She doesn't know how to articulate it and that's fine. Yeah. But her body immediately saw him and recoiled. Yeah. And was like, Mm-mm, Oh, no. but she wanted to bang him, Amanda. Well, according to him. I get that though, because she didn't deny it. And I no. think it was probably like, let's Well, we're engaged now. Let's see if this here. works. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I get that. I mean, I've been in that place where you're like, let's let's give sex a try. Right. See if see if yeah. that fixes the problem. <laughs> yeah. And usually it doesn't usually, fix the problem. Usually doesn't. Usually makes the problem worse. But, but I, I love him. And now he's on Instagram putting poetry up on his Instagram. I know. I know. <sighs> Little warrior Kipling. Mm-mm. Oh, my God. I was not a fan of how his sister approached Nicole. Mm. I thought okay. that was unnecessary. Okay. Like, Yeah. I, I think Nicole knows she hurt him. I think she has yeah. I think she has made made up for that, apologized for that. Like I Nicole's think they're past a bad picker. Who amongst us? Who amongst us hasn't had a bad picker? I now told she's Tess, I one hundred percent would have picked Sam over Benaya in a in a blind situation. In a blind taste test? Yes. Okay. In my in my twenties. Okay. Would I now? No. Okay. But Here. I would absolutely would have in my twenties. Let's say you and Timmy were on Love is Blind. Mm, okay. Would you find each other? I think we would only through our sense of humor. We okay. have such a dark sense so of humor. Our, yeah. yeah, that it's or, hard to find that in other people. Yeah, we're pretty sure we would have found each other. We were yeah. talking about that. I think so. I think, I think so. so. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you don't know. But I think we would have found each other. Yeah. Yeah. Because, oh. I mean, from our first conversation on Bumble, like we just, like the banter just mm-hmm. flowed. Mm-hmm. So I think if we talked blindly that yeah. would happen as well yeah but, who knows? but would i have made the right choice probably not no no what do you think about bobby and jasmine um i don't know how i feel about him and her like i guess they're fine i don't care like, i don't have any like they're the mal and positive- sal they're the mal and sal yeah like, they're eh. just boring yeah whatever I loved Mallory though. I loved. I thought she was so adorable. And I liked Sal there. when he was playing the ukulele. ukulele. Yeah, I was so. into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, remember Sal. they were like the kind of eh, eh, whatever. Well, they won't. We don't. We, we don't them. really care. I did not particularly care for Jasmine's mother. I thought she was way Ooh. over the top. Yeah, she was way over the top. Yeah, she wouldn't my even daughter, come in the apartment. I know. My daughter is my best friend. Yay. Red flag. I'm the best flag. friend she will ever have. By the way, I did our viewers a disservice. Oh, I'll save it. I'll save it for the end of Love is Blind Corner. Oh, okay. But remind okay. me to tell you about a red okay. flag. I, I think we might be finished with Love is Blind Corner. Do you have anything well, else you want to yes, talk to I me do. about? Yes, I do. I okay. do. Real quick, let's run through it. Who says yes? Who says no? Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. okay. So let's start with Freddie and Kat. Freddie and Kat. I think Freddie says no. 
I think Freddie says no. Okay. I think Kat Ollie, says yes. I think Freddie says no. Ollie and Demi. If someone says no, it's her. Ooh, interesting. I think they both say yes. Okay. If someone says no, it's going to be because of her. Because I think his ADHD and his mm. like hot and cold running is real hard for her. Okay. Bobby and Jasmine. Eh, they both say yes. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not invested in them in any way, shape, or form. Steven and Sabrina. Oh, they both say yes. Yeah, I agree. They're fine. They're okay. the they're the Lauren and Cameron of this they're situation. They're lovely. They're, they're lovely. lovely. Mm-hmm. I love her family. I like they're great. And they're I, I really think this whole where are they going to live thing yeah. is manufactured drama because the producers are like, you need to have something to Some, talk about. Give us something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh Benaya and Nicole. Yes, I think they both say I yes. I think they both say yes. Is that it? Did I miss anybody? Uh you missed Maria and Tom. Oh, yeah. Mm. I think Maria says no. I hope she says no. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like he values She's like, her. Get away from me, Bond villain. I just don't feel like he values her. I again, there's something hot about him, but also something that is not internally great. saying, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No. No, it's not great. And I really lost a ton of respect for him when he was like, Ugh, you're a makeup artist. Like, well, fuck off. So he said that this is so weird. Cause he said that he thought a makeup artist would be like vain and kind of obsessed with their appearance. What? I mean, I guess I can see that. I guess. I could see, I could see the assumption of somebody who's a makeup artist or who works in the beauty industry probably focuses on their own beauty a lot more than, say, you and I do. Yeah, yeah. You know, like. Because they at least know what they're doing. We're going to podcast movie next week. I'm going to have to dig out my little makeup bag. Yeah, I'm not even bringing it's, mine. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to. I'm going to because I, I just feel like I should. But I'm going to have to dig it out because it's been that long yeah. since I've worn makeup. Yeah. So, like, it's just a different. I got focus. I jumped in a picture with my girls for their senior pictures and didn't put makeup on. Okay, well that's fine. <laughs> Your girls I'm certainly over here, did. The, your I'm girls over are here stunning. Doing the least. Thank that's okay. You. Your girls are stunning. You made beautiful people. Thank you. I think so. Um. Okay. So love is blind. Corner over. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. Forbidden love. Season one, episode five. Episode five. The title is. Can you feel the, the love tonight? Never forget the time that I admitted on air with Matt Marr that I would have sex with a lion. Oh, right. Yeah. We went into a weird territory there. <laughs> we got, was like, real weird. <laughs> it got really, really weird. Okay. Let's, let's hit these people. There was no Lori and Eli this week. Thank God. I feel like it was better without them. I feel like it was better without them too. Even though I thought their story would be the most compelling to me because of the Judaism aspect. I just find her annoying. I hate him too. I don't really hate like him both. either. Mm-hmm. Not into them. But let's talk about other two people, Ashley and Muhammad. Okay. So we're back in Rochester. We're no longer with Long Island medium racist sister. Yeah, she's gone. She's gone. Thank God. Though mm-hmm. though the specter of her still looms. Yes. Agreed. Over us. Agreed. And now we're going to go see Abdul, who's also a real peach. Oh, boy. These brothers, they look alike. Oh my god. It's the only way to tell them apart right now is Abdul's got like crazier, bigger hair. Okay, I was just gonna make a real old reference. Oh, okay. I was gonna I'll give you the updated reference first. The sure. updated should be are they gonna pull a parent trap? Mm, they totally could pull but a then parent I was trap. gonna say, are they gonna pull a Patty Duke? Oh wow. 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 Okay. Okay. Somebody yeah. watched Nick at Night growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Did your parents enjoy Patty Duke? I was or- obsessed with Nick at Night when I was growing mm-hmm. up. Dobie okay. Gillis. Oh, wow. Patty I never Duke, got into it. Dick Van Dyke Show. Oh, I love Dick Van Dyke. God. I, I did love the Dick Van Dyke Show mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. I also really loved Mary Tyler Moore back in the day, the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that was oh, great. Yeah. Yep. It was great. Donna Reed I used to watch. Mm. I was like weird. Yeah. Well, was? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I okay. Know. Yeah. Ashley's disappointed in her sister, but overall things things seem better. Sure. Sure, Jan. <laughs> And his going to Missouri really showed her that he cares about the marriage and wants to make things better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He went sure. to troll your sister. And he I was here for every minute of it. A terrorist. Did you call me a yeah. terrorist? <laughs> <laughs> I love that now because you do the like finger on the cheek thing. I have to do mm-hmm, the finger mm-hmm, on the cheek mm-hmm. thing because it just goes for the whole thing. Yes. It's a so, Dr. Evil vibe. It really is. <laughs> Uh, much like I was petting Leo during the uh, Sister Wise recap, like I was Dr. Evil, just petting him, petting him, yes. petting him. I keep telling him he is a fan favorite in Backdoor Friends. 
He really is. He really is. He's he really is. Like By that. the way, I I, sh- I need to put a countdown in Backdoor Friends for this new season. Oh, yeah. Because it's com- – it's, today's the 16th. We're recording this early. It's 29 days away. 29 days away. No, 30 days away because there's 31 days in August. 30 days. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Thank I you. need to put a countdown in yeah, Backdoor do. Friends because I'm, I'm beyond There's got to be some Facebook widget thing that we yeah, can have a countdown. I'll find it. You'll find it. Okay. You know me. I'm a tech whiz. I'll find it. You'll find it. It'll be great. <laughs> Abdul, as we know, does not approve of Ashley. She's not Muslim. Mm-mm. and He's hot, she- right, Abdul? No, I don't find him attractive. Enough. Oh, I think they're both hot. I don't the find them either attractive. Okay. But right. I mean, sure. I'm into them. Okay, that's fine. Hate them. No. Uh, Hate them. Love them. <laughs> so he doesn't like that Ashley's not Muslim. He doesn't like that she's outspoken. Mm. He calls her crazy and controlling, which is interesting because that's the same thing her family says about Muhammad. Mm-hmm. 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 It's almost like these two just shouldn't be together. It's almost like that. It's almost <laughs> like that. Ashley, super nervous. Muhammad says that they're both stubborn, both she and Abdul. And he's in the middle and doesn't want to be in the situation anymore. And I, that would be really I hard to that, be very yeah. close to my. He's like, I'm taking myself out of this. To be very close to my twin brother with whom I run a business. Mm-hmm. And they, my wife and he, and like, that's just challenging. It's and the John and Patrick of it all. It right? is right. John like John just has to withdraw from the fake tension between Patrick or Patrick has to withdraw from the fake tension between John and John Thais. And, Thais. and also, I don't know if for Abdul and Mohammed, if they have any other family, like, did they come over with their family oh, or that's just the point. two of them? We don't know. In which case they're the only people each other have. And that yeah. makes it even more like yeah. John and Patrick. They really yes. are the only one each other has. Yes. So Muhammad is hoping they can sit down and solve this problem in one mm-hmm. sitting because that mm-hmm. always goes well. Uh, apparently, Abdul is always late and he was late to this. Muhammad opens up by saying he brought them here. There's a reason I've gathered you here together today. It's I you to figure is, out your shit. I think this is what world leaders should do with Palestine and Israel. Just be oh, like, come yeah. on, guys. Let's just sit, sit at a, a picnic Matt, table. Matt Sharp, get your camera. Right. Okay, sit down at this picnic table. I'll right on you, a road. I'll give you 25 minutes. You got this. You got this. Have some hummus while you figure it out. Mm-hmm. You can unite over your hummus. Yes. It'll think, be great. I think it would go go good. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> I'll fix everything. <laughs> you know, millennia <laughs> Or centuries and centuries, millennia of uh, dispute yep. solved in 25 solved. minutes at a picnic table. Yep. And so he says, I love you both and I need you to fix this. Yeah. And so he walks off. So now we go. Abdul says in a talking head, he doesn't want to speak to her. She's crazy and she's a fake Muslim. Okay. <laughs> okay. Question about this. Yeah. Did she say she's converting? Because I thought the way that she left it with us was I'm thinking about converting. I'm yeah. understanding and studying more of his religion, but I'm not converting. She's not converted at, yet at all. Okay. I think what bothers him is that she'll do some things like wear hijab when when Muhammad asks her to. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. But then she doesn't dress modestly. She's not raising Rosie to dress modestly, which I thought right. little kids, it didn't matter. Yeah, we need but to he's, leave Rosie's name out of his mouth. Yeah, yeah. when he's like, mm-hmm. you and Rosie need to dress more modestly. I'm like, ah, uh, she's two. She's like two or three, no. Yeah, mm-hmm. like no, We're she's fine. This. Yeah, she's fine. Uh, but I don't know. I to be fair, I don't know what the rules are. Yeah, with little kids, I always well, thought little kids were kind rule, of free pass. If there's a puberty. rule that governs a two year old's body, I'm against it. I'm against it. That's okay. weird. Let mm-hmm. a little kid be a little kid. They should be able to run around naked and go into the yes. baby pool in the backyard if that's what they want to do. Yes, like I did. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Ashley says Abdul is the most important person to her husband. So she recognizes this mm-hmm. and it's impacting their marriage. And she says, Abdul wishes that they would divorce. And I don't think he disagrees. Now we go through the list of things that Ashley did that were crazy. <laughs> she broke a window when he that's, wouldn't let her into the house. That's a little intense. It is intense. But if he locked her out of her own house. I wouldn't even know how to break a window. I wouldn't I guess either. I would pick up an object and throw it through the window. But that, I guess, I guess I'm assuming windows are plate glass. Like my window's I don't not going to smash like that now. I wouldn't think so. I don't like know. Like a double pane situation. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, she also broke his PlayStation, which she admits, and he says she broke twelve TVs. Okay, he is pissed about the PlayStation. That is what this is about. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's pl- he's pissed Big, that his expensive play ta- yep. PlayStation got broken. Big baby boy had his PlayStation broken mm-hmm. and doesn't know how to come back from this. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Which I get, like, PlayStations are expensive. She they should are. replace it if she, she broke should. it. Yes. She should. She says, he doesn't write about how many things that she broke, but she did overreact. 
mm-hmm. for the PlayStation thing. Abdul says breaking stuff, breaking things doesn't fix it, fix anything. He's correct. Ashley is pissed. He takes no accountability for his actions, and these two hate each other. This yeah. is going very well. Yeah. We come back. They're still fighting. Mm-hmm. Ashley does apologize, but really includes a very large butt at the end. I'm sorry, but Ashley does want to make peace, but she does not like him. No. So- no. It's a problem. She's like, I don't hate people many like people, each other, but I hate this douchebag. I hate this douchebag. Yeah. He says if she converts, she can't pick and choose. And uh, uh, Muhammad said this last week. We remember we had this fight last time. Long Island, racist Long Island mediums. Like you can't. <laughs> <Racist> <laughs> Island medium, I love you so much. <laughs> says, why can't she just pick and choose? Muhammad's like, we can't pick and choose Muslim. It's Islam. It's an all or nothing situation. And I and get that. And I that's that too. from your understanding of Islam. That's right. That, that right? seems yeah. to be correct from what yeah. I understand. So he says, if she converts, she can't pick or choose. She's got to wear hijab. Both her and Rosie need to be covered up more. Again, keep Rosie out of this. Rosie's yeah. too. She's yeah. fine. She's like, what? You don't like the dress I'm wearing? Which is not an immodest dress, but it did show her arms. Mm-hmm. But it mm-hmm. wasn't cut low. Would or I be? Like that. I would be. Oh, you're trouble. a problem. Yeah, because I you're have, a, like, just a tank top on, guys. Yeah, you're so a I'd problem. Be in big trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you are a problem, <laughs> and you would be a problem. <laughs> Abdul would like for her to truly convert. Mm-hmm. And she says she didn't grow up this way, and he's like, well, just learn about it. Just read about it and learn about it. And she's well, like, and he's I'm, like, you like reading. I see right. you reading. Read some books on Islam. Right. And and she's like, I'm, I am learning. I'm, I'm doing this slowly. It is a huge shift for me. Yeah, so maybe give me a minute. about a whole new religion. A whole new religion and a whole new way of showing up as a woman in the world. That's a good point. It's really mm-hmm. going to change her identity as a woman. Good point. Because it's very different. It's not like, it's not, okay, taking out the fact that it's Orthodox Judaism, it wouldn't be like if you were converting from Christianity to say Reconstructionist Judaism. Mm-hmm. It's not changing your whole view of a woman. It's not changing how you have to dress, how you have to show up in the world, how you have to respect your husband in a different, like. Mm-hmm. It doesn't impact that. This really impacts all that shit. And I think it's really hard for her, which it would be really hard for me. Ashley says she does not like talking about religion with Abdul. He has no empathy for how difficult this is for her and the impact of leaving her religion. And she's afraid if she doesn't convert, Abdul will poison Mohammed against her. And, and I, I think, think that's a really will. real fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Abdul- guy, th- them working together and being twins, like they're so enmeshed, these mm-hmm. two brothers. Mm-hmm. it's not good and if abdul finds like a very devout muslim wife Ooh. all he will do is go why can't I, I, why can't you be like my wife why can't you be like my yeah. wife why can't you be yep. like my wife yep. like it's right. not gonna go good mm-hmm. ashley says that there's still work to do but they are doing it she has concerns about living as a muslim and how her family will react you know racist long island media will not be mm-hmm. into this she thinks her converting could make the situation with her family worse and i think she might be right she could be right. Um, so how many TVs do you think she really broke? Two. Yeah, I say one or two. One or I two. Mean, I don't think it's 12. What's a broken TV between family members? I <laughs> Have mean, you ever broken a television? Not on purpose. I, maybe I dropped one in a move or something, but not purposely. No, no I've never mm-hmm. broken and I, a television. I've had some pretty volatile fights, especially with my first husband. I've broken some shit, but never a television. Yeah, I've never really broken mm-hmm. anything. I, I'm just not a fighter. I'm a I, lover, not a fighter. I am anymore. not a fighter either, but I but was in a your real first bad marriage. Situation. Brought that out to you. Yes. Brought that out yes. to you. Yes. Yeah. Hey everyone, stay tuned. Little Miss Recap will be right back after these words. Okay, let's talk about Elmer and Lindsay. Okay, this was this was compelling. This was compelling. I have. I have a lot of empathy for Elmer. I do. This too. is hard. I do too. And. This this is the first time I actually felt like, oh, she might really love him. I, I agree. Because she this is important to her to get this right. Yeah. Even though she's kind of a goofball, she's trying. I agree. And let's put aside that she probably started banging him when he was like 16 or 17. And um, let's put aside <laughs> yeah, let's the, the grooming out of it. Let's put aside the fact that he probably is still emotionally and mentally 16 or 15. Oh, I'm sure he is. And she's trying to make him a father and right. turn him into a man overnight. And mm. it's probably not going to go good. No. But um, yeah, let's let's just take it at face value. See what it has. So mm-hmm. Elmer is walking around the house with some sliced onions, Amy. Okay. See, this is the kind of stuff I'm here for. Yeah. I want yeah. this shit. Yeah. And he says it'll pull the germs out of the air. Mm-hmm. Lindsay apparently is starting to not feel good. So he's like, I'm going to fix this. She says, most men bring flowers. 
when their mm. wife is not feeling well, you're showing up wanting to stick onions in my in my shoes. Oh, I this thought you were going to say in my ass. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Do you ever look at a horse's ass and want to stick <laughs> onions in it? You ever want to put onions in my ass? <laughs> That would burn. I feel like that would burn. I really feel like that would burn too. I don't even know what that would look like. And I don't want to. Right. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Elmer says growing up, never went to a doctor. Just not a thing. No. And these onions will pull toxins out of the air and out of the body. And it's passed down by the Amish. English don't believe it, but he knows it works. Yeah. This was interesting because now we're entering the area, right? Where like you have old wives tales. Yes. For lack of better. And I do believe there is some merit to some of them. Yes, agreed. Yeah, because people agreed. couldn't always run to the pharmacy and grab a prescription. Like sometimes, and for most of civilization, there was no prescription. Right, like you just had to have Vicks vapor rub all over your body. Or yes. is that just me? Because now that my, was your child of the seventies. Yeah, my grandma was like put Vicks vapor rub on everything. Oh yeah, Vicks vapor mm-hmm. rub fixed everything. Yes, yes. Did you ever do it on the feet though? I never did it on the. I feet never as did kid. on the feet, it but just it's supposed chest. to cure a headache or something. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. There's something you can do with Vicks vapor rub on your feet that's supposed mm-hmm. to help with something, which mm-hmm. it doesn't shock me. That stuff fixes everything. Yeah. Yep. Even now, when my kids are congested, I put a little strip under their nose, mm-hmm. and it opens them up. Have you ever done the, I think it's Alka-Seltzer might make them. Maybe it's Vicks Vapor Rub that makes them too. Little like shower steamer things. I've seen the shower steamers. I've never done them. They're good. When you really like are feeling congested, get yourself in a hot shower. Let, okay. Like, Because I always do that. If I have a hot shower, I'll let like the hot water like beat on yeah. my chest because that feels yep. good. But it really like, it makes like a little steam bath for you. It clears your sinuses nicely. It's worth okay. it. Okay. So, okay. So now he wants to put the onions in the socks. Lindsay's mm-hmm. like, this is fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Other home remedies include, if you ever got a like knock on your head and you had a bump, butter. Butter fixes the bumps on your head. I feel like butter just makes you greasy. I would think so too. Yeah. Potato on your ear if you have an earache. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And now this one actually works because I've used it. The honey on a cut. Oh, okay. Yes. I, that one made the most sense to me. Yes. And it's a special kind of honey you're supposed to use. It's like a medic it's like a medical honey. You can mm. get it. I forget the name of it. It begins with an M. Hold on. It's gonna annoy me if My I My Graham come up with used it. to put Mercurochrome on all our cuts. Did you used to have Mercurochrome? Uh uh-uh. uh. It was like from the fifties mm. and it would dye your skin red. Oh. Uh yeah, I don't know if it was a good thing. Um, it's Manuka honey. M A N U K A. Manuka. Spell that again. M A N and the A has a little okay. line over it. I never know what those are called. N U K A. Okay. So I actually, my chiropractor told me this when I cut my thumb really badly once. I had like 11 stitches in my thumb because I broke a wine glass in my hand. Mm. Cut the shit out of me. And he's like, get, get, you know, Manuka honey and put it on. And I'm like, that sounds insane. He's like, no, trust me. And it really, like within days, it mm. was levels of healed that it wasn't before wow okay i would like to tell everybody though don't then put that thing of honey under your sink in your bathroom because about Mm. four days later you're gonna have a lot of ants yeah be real careful with that yeah yeah i see yeah so that's that is actually a real thing Mm -hmm. so Lindsay's into the foot massage portion of the program not the onions in her socks correct but we get there she does say if he shows up to her labor with onions she'll kill him yeah, I don't That's blame fair. her because I don't like onions. Like, I'll eat them. I'm not one of those people who's like, okay. you know, you can't put onions in anything. I'll eat them if they're in something. I love onions. But I, I don't want raw onions around me. I don't mm. like the smell. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I mean, they they smell bad. They smell yeah. weird. Yeah. But I love onions. Oh, my God. I'm one of those people that, like, if a recipe calls for, like, a half a cup of onions, we're going with a cup. Similar to, like, one clove of garlic is three cloves to minimum. Similar to anything cheese required. For double, you. Double the cheese. Double the cheese. Yes. Yeah, I understand. So Lindsay's not into the onions. They have a super cute dog who's just like they do have a cute on her lap. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm into the dog. So now we debrief on the party with Wilma and Lindsay's conversation with Wilma mm-hmm. and how Wilma sees her family. And Lindsay wants to know if Elmer's family would be open to that. And given how they have been with El- Ben, Elmer doesn't think so. They are super, super strict Amish. Yeah. And he doesn't think they're going to do they're well in with this. He said he tried reaching out, but they didn't respond. Basically, the day he said he was marrying Lindsay, he was out. It's really sad. It's really fucking sad. At one point, he has like a coat or something his mom made him. And he's like, I'm never going to keep this forever. Yeah. It's sad. He He misses his family. Yeah. It's it's heartbreaking. So, and Lindsay says, I can't imagine my baby not knowing both sides of its family. And I understand Mm. that too. Sure. She wonders if maybe they'd be open to 
just standing on the porch to say hi for like 15 minutes. Like, mm-hmm. let's just start there. She's really trying to mend this for him. She is. This Which, is the first right. time I didn't hate her. Yeah, me too. I still think she's a weirdo, but I didn't hate her here. Yeah. Elmer explains what it means to be shunned. It's very serious. Lindsay thinks it is very important that they try. Wilma had a breakthrough, so maybe they can too. So he says he's open to trying it. Thus, we engage in what I'm calling the Amish cosplay. Mm-hmm. So we're going to go to Michigan to see Elmer's family. I looked up where this place is in Michigan. It is pretty far north in Michigan and in the middle of fucking nowhere. Okay. Real middle is of Is it in that county that we talked about on the first episode? I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember the name of the county, but okay. it's where the fuck up there. He's dressed. <laughs> it, where is it located? Way the fuck up there. Way the fuck up there. <laughs> it's very specific direction. Way the fuck up there. I like it. He's getting dressed back in his Amish clothes. Lindsay's in her, her cosplay. Mm-hmm. He's hoping telling his family about the baby might be an entrance for yeah. them. Which I think if, if they're going to soften in any way, it's going to be for the baby. Mm-hmm. I agree. He's hoping dresses, dressing as Amish will show respect for the family and also that they won't stick out when they get up there. Mm-hmm. Um, dude, you have a film crew following you. Yeah, you're going to stick, gonna out, stick out. He's okay. So Elmer's feelings are all over the place. Being rejected by his family was the hardest thing he's gone through. He has no idea what will happen to him and mm-hmm. he just doesn't want to get hurt again. She has to tell him she's wearing her lace black panties under her, her Amish clothes. I'm like, we didn't need to know that. That yeah. was fine. <clears throat> He points out that she looks like his sister, Susie. She asks if that turns him on. He says, no. Again, why are you making this weird, Lindsay? Yeah, stop, Lindsay. Stop. Like, do you think this is what viewers want to see? So you're kind of playing to the camera because it's not. It's not. Mm-mm. No, I want to see like, I want to see more of Elmer with his like little adopted father, Kirk, and learn more about that relationship. Yes, I want to see like the Moe's, Moe's, uh, what's his last <laughs> name? I forget what Moses left. It was Shrewd. It was it Moses. Would be Shrewd, right? I guess so. I don't I want to see like Moses Moe running around the yes, running around back the 40. farm. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Remember Jim and Pan or Jim are driving in, and then Moses is like running. <laughs> yes, and then is yes. like passing them in the car. And Jim's yes. like, "What the fuck is happening?" Oh, I loved it. Oh, God, I love Jim Halper. He is like my twin flame. Oh, oh. No, there's no more room. I know. I am running out of room on the board. You're running out of room. I'm trying to fill my board up, but I realize I'm not as ridiculous I as you. I realized Anthony Bourdain is not on my board, and that is a gross oversight. That is a gross oversight. Yeah, he needs okay. to be on there. What's going to get replaced? I don't know. I don't know. Was was Gr- Grimace was on at one point, and I believe you removed Grimace him. Grimace is not on. How dare you? I hate Grimace. But I thought he was on at no, one No, he point. terrifies me. He was okay. just a complicated historical figure. Oh, right, because he ate children. Yes, he ate yeah. children, and then now he's trying to be nice to children. Right, and it doesn't work for you. We you will know. not forget your storied past, Grimace. <laughs> we know your story. So, <laughs> she's feeling super uncomfortable in these clothes, and I don't blame her. She's like, they're really yeah. itchy, and it just not how I feel good. She looks like a creepy colonial girl, she says, but she's willing to do this for her husband. They're going to an Amish store, which you and I have been to many an Amish store. Yes, we have. And they, they, they didn't, they didn't highlight my favorite part of the Amish store, which is that whole display of all the candy sticks and all the different flavors. Yes. Yes. And I also wondered, because when I went to the Amish store, they'd had no cash registers. Oh, okay. They had like old school cash registers. Like ding, 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 ding. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, this there was some computerization here. Am I yeah. doing the sounds right? You are. You're doing a great job yeah. with the sounds. Yeah. But now they had like... Dee, 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 dee. I wonder I'm like, whoa. if I wasn't Amish and maybe like Mennonite because he seemed not quite so... Mm. I don't know. For, I don't know. Yeah. 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 And I was like part. scanning yeah. the background like a maniac looking for anything modern and technical. Me too. But didn't see anything. No, plainclothes Mennonites are more modern. They'll drive cars. They'll have phones. Okay. They'll do all that. But they're okay. still dressing that way and they're still very very conservative okay so again they're at the Amish store looking for a gift for the mom she has no idea what to get she says to the clerk my mother-in-law likes cooking a lot he suggests knives she's like bad idea nope not, nope not, not getting her a weapon a knife no. she hates me so she just decides a card is the safest bet because Wilma has told her that the Amish like cards okay sure. I like cards I'm not a card person I like cards but they have to be good and yeah. so many cards aren't good I think cards are, here's what I don't know what to do with cards. Someone gives you a nice card Mm -hmm. and maybe they write a really nice sentiment in it. Mm -hmm. Then what do you do with it? You keep it in your, uh, your keepsake box. But if I kept everything that like someone wrote to me in my keepsake (laughs) box, I mean, I need a trunk. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. It's difficult. I don't know what to do. Yeah. I I save the cards from Todd. That's about it at Mm -hmm. this point. So 
the clerk is like, yeah, she doesn't pass. The clothes work. She's got, uh-huh. however, she's got her nails done. She's got jewelry on. She's got makeup on. Why uh-uh. would she wear makeup? And why That's would she wear like her wedding ring bling? Yeah. Yeah. yeah she, she's only half ass in this. But again, I don't think she knows. And it really, Elmer should have said. Yeah. Elmer should have told her. Like, should have helped Dude, her. take the makeup off. Yeah. Yeah. But she, there's no way she's going on camera without her makeup uh-uh. off. No. He's nervous. He has no idea what's going to happen. And this is so important. He doesn't know how they'll react after not seeing him for so long. He says best case would be welcoming me, but he's worried the door will be slammed in his face. And if they mm. reject him again, he says it'll mentally and emotionally crush me. Oh, this I feel bad dude. for this kid. Yeah, I feel bad for him too. And he's he's a kid. He's 23. He's yeah. so young. He's a kid. Yeah. So they're driving to the parents and they're going to include the ultrasound photos in the card. Mm-hmm. Very and, smart. Yes. So Lindsay starts writing this night nice note and Elmer's like, nope. Nope. Can I say something though? They're in this Amish store and they're yeah. they're racking their brains over what to get these people. Okay. Yes. Racking their brains, racking their brains. Literally behind them, there is a beautiful wood sign that oh. says grandma and grandpa's. Oh. Why not oh. buy that? That would have been perfect. Yes. I mean, to be fair, they probably would have gone by they probably would go by Oma and Opa, but maybe. still. That's well, okay. We're selling it in the Amish store, so That's maybe true. somebody would. Maybe someone would. That would and be I was, brilliant. Yeah, I was like, well, it's right there on the sign behind you. Right. We're giving you the sign because we're having a baby. Yes. Yes. You're very smart, Amy. Anyway. So she, he's like, yeah, ixnay on the oat nay. Nope. <laughs> nope. Don't do that. She hopes this baby will soften his family. He hopes that they read it, but they may just throw it away. Mm. Which just breaks. Oh, so That's sad. That's upsetting. Yeah, I, I can't imagine. I mean, I'm not even a mother and I can't imagine anything my child would do. I know. That would know. make me do this. I know. I mean, I, I know that some parents do have to cut their children out because of yeah. addiction issues and yeah. things like that. That's different. Like this, this is a good kid. Not the yeah. kids who have addiction issues are bad kids, but like none of that exists here. Right. There's no just complication. Wanted to marry someone else. There's, There's no, no complication, complication other than he married an English woman. Yeah. So she can tell Elmer's getting more and more nervous. Mm -hmm. She knows his dad is strict and his mom is even more strict. Mm. She's worried about Elmer being rejected again. They go to Kirk. I like Kirk. I like Kirk too. Kirk is great. Kirk is their neighbor. Mm -hmm. And back in the day when Elmer would reshoe horses, because that was a business he worked in, he would then have to ride the horse a bit. Kirk lives about half a mile down. And so he would ride there. They became friends. And Kirk has really become a surrogate parent yeah to elmer Kirk's which is very sweet, sweet. i mean as mm-hmm. they're walking out they kirk's like i love you because i love you they too say, i love you yeah 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 like it i really i really felt like kirk was really fatherly do you know to my him. kids say i love you to each other when they're hanging up the phone do they i still don't say i love you to jenny you do but she ignores it occasionally through <laughs> text i can't look her in the eye and say it <laughs> she might kill you yeah but these two say it to each other every time they hang up the phone that's sweet isn't and yet they weird? hate each other most of the time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm like, okay. okay whatever. They're, I'd be really curious to see how they they do being at different schools and being away from each other for long periods of time. I know. It's going to be really interesting. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. I think when they come home, like at Thanksgiving, they're going to be all over each other and connected at the hip. I think so too. Yeah. I hope gonna so. miss each other. Yeah. So we talk. Okay. So Kurt is saying, Kurt's like, I'm a parent. I can't imagine somebody telling me. I'm not going to see my kid anymore. Well, what Kurt says and Kirk says, and this is great, is he says, I could never be in a religion that told me I had to shun my children. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Same. Yep. Same. I Same. couldn't do this either. Now we talk about Wilmer. So Wilmer is Elmer's brother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apparently we like the Mer mm-hmm. name in this family. Yep. And, but Wilmer called Kirk. Kirk has a phone because he has a business that requires him having it. Mm-hmm. Wilmer has a phone. Wilmer has a phone. Yeah. Well, obviously Elmer does because yeah. he's out in the world. Now. Wilmer has a phone, calls Kirk and says they got wind that they're coming up. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want them coming to the house right now. And he with doesn't the want them showing up with cameras, which mm-hmm. I think, of course, they don't want them showing up. Yeah, with which I was glad that we addressed that. Yeah. You know, because I'm like, how are they going to show up on these people's porch with cameras? Yeah, they can't. No. They can't. They, it, and Elmer knows you can't He'd do that. He'd be putting his family at risk, probably. He would put his family yeah. at risk. Said someone could have seen them in town and ratted them out. I mean, mm-hmm. they were in the Amish store. Maybe someone saw him. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wilmer wanted to be sure that no TV crew show up at the house. His brother has a phone for business. And now Elmer knows that his parents know that they're coming and worries that they'd hide to avoid mm-hmm. getting in trouble. It's fucking awful. Ugh, it's so sad. Lindsay says this is fucked up because they wanted to be discreet and they're worried the bishop will know and this will totally blow everything up. 
Mm-hmm. Kirk wishes them luck and off they go to walk to his parents' house with an I love you. And he says, with his brother knowing, it changes the whole plan. And if the community knows this, could they could block them from getting into the property. Yeah. It's bad. I'm sad for that. But them. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Yeah. Th- now this story is interesting to me. Right. With only three episodes to go, this is suddenly picked up. This is suddenly picked yeah. up. This isn't her just walking around some like, you know, animal auction in her sequin <laughs> right. jacket. This right. is now interesting. Yes. Okay. Chris and Lenza. Mm. This is this is hard too. So we're back after church after Lenza walked out. She's really upset. And Chris is like, oh, this was great. I'm glad you got to experience it. He is so he's, disconnected. He's leading with the positive. Yeah. You know, I can't. Thank you so much for coming to my church and opening your mind. We're going to forget about the whole part where you, you got up and left because my father accosted you with Christ. Right. But, you know, whatever. We'll let that go. And mm-hmm. we're also going to now spin it as she just needed to get out some fresh air. Yeah. Yeah. She no, just, she needed to get needed, out because she felt attacked. She needed some fresh air. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. I think Chris is living in la-la land. Yeah. So she's really hurt by the, the approach of Pastor Johnson. Elder. Mm-hmm. What, not pa- She calls him Pastor Johnson and she calls him something else. Is it Elder Johnson? Mm, something. I don't know. Chris is dead. Father Chris. She's hurt by the approach. (laughs) Father Chris. She knows this isn't Chris's fault. She she calls him Christopher. This isn't Christopher's fault. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But she had to get out of there until this was done because she felt really uncomfortable. He thanks her for giving it a try and experience where he comes from. Chris also felt uncomfortable during his dad's sermon, he admits. And he understands that this was really overwhelming for her. Like, again, this is not going from, like, Catholicism to, like, a Lutheran service. Right. This is a huge jump. This is a big deal. She said she just needed air. You know, when Lenza gets upset, you can really tell. And she's not really that upset now. And I'm like, dude, dude, are you not looking at the woman with the steam coming out of her ears? She just had Christ jammed down her throat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think he's really delusional. Mm Mm-hmm. He says the sermon was geared to open her heart to conversion and it merely, you know, makes makes her stomach twist. Like she's, yeah. she was really uncomfortable. Yeah. Lenza says she does not see the connection and the joy or does see the connection and the joy that his religion brings him. She talks about him very lovingly and she respectfully. Do, she loves him. Yes, she I, does. I believe in their love. I do too. I just don't know if they I don't can know how get we over this, this hurdle. Yeah. Which is so sad that it we have to sad. let religion do this to people. Yeah, like why can't it. he just live as... A Pentecostal Christian and, and she, she lives in the Muslim. Live, yep. Yep. And maybe they make an agreement on how to raise their kids, but ugh, I don't know. It, maybe I don't feel like you do what Ace and I are going to do with McKelty's twins. Right. She Each take one. one Muslim. He raises one Pentecostal. You see which one does better in life. Exactly. There yeah. you go. Competition. You go. Everything's competition. I know. You're the most mm-hmm. competitive person and mm-hmm. I am not. But she feels bad. She says that they have to decide which faith they're going to do and they got to do it by the end of this trip. And she feels really bad about even asking him to leave his religion because she can see it does bring him joy. So now we come back. We've got the weird gospel music, the weird um, royalty free gospel music Mm -hmm. kicking Mm -hmm. up a notch. She's been here for a week. The church experience really shook her. This trip has been a lot more difficult than she anticipated. And it convinced her that Chris needs to be serious about converting. She can't do this. Yeah. She She also has a stomach bug. So she feels like shit. Is she pregnant? No. No. Mm. I don't think so. Okay. They gave us that information for a reason. Maybe. I don't know. Were they raw dogging? I don't, I can't see them raw dogging. (laughs) I just can't. (laughs) Though, you know, she's got other kids. Who knows? Uh, Unlike Joey from uh, Love After Lockup. I only raw dog. I only raw dog. (laughs) Maybe we made a baby tonight. God, I hope you didn't. With Kimberly. Kimberly. (gasps) We need to get back to Gypsy Rose, Amanda. Okay, okay, we'll get there. After podcast move it, we can think Mm. about it. We just have to get through next week. All right. Chris's dad comes over unexpectedly, and she's like, and it sucked because it was too late to hide. He knew I was in the apartment. (laughs) And the camera on me. And the camera crew was on me, too. Dad asks where Chris is. He's at work. They talk about how Lensa feels. She hasn't eaten in days. She does not feel good. Pastor Johnson offers to anoint her with oil. She has no idea what the hell this is, what okay. she's talking about. Okay. okay. And he explains it's for healing. Yeah. She explains Islamically, she isn't allowed to do anything ritualistic and to replace the healing um, ability of Allah. Right. So, yeah, so what the oil again, is. dude, listen to the words coming out of my mouth. Right. Not allowed to accept any kind of sacrament, any kind of nothing. Something. So d- stop forcing it on yeah. me. Yeah, but he doesn't listen. 
She asks what the oil is. And he's like, oh, it's olive oil. Extra virgin. Do you think we just go to Trader Joe's and pick it up? Like, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Amanda, it's the, the Christ is in the oil. That's well, his gift. He says the spirit of the Lord is in the oil and how it gets the oil. No one knows. No one knows. Says, no one asks questions. It's just imbued it's there. with the, it's the there. spirit. It's there. Yeah. It's there. He shockingly has the oil with him and they can go outside right now and he can show her. Yeah, come to my car and right. I'll show you the oil is probably oh. one of the creepiest things I've ever heard a man say. <laughs> this is, I have a puppy in my car. Would you like to help me yeah. find it? Like, yeah, no. No, no. do not go to a second location, Lenza. No. Do not go out to his car. No, you clearly didn't grow up on Oprah. You no. never or go to unsolved a second location. No. You clearly <laughs> didn't watch a lot of Unsolved Mysteries as a child either, Lenza. You have no idea who John Walsh is. How no. dare you? Mm-hmm. Clearly, clearly. Mm-hmm. Lenza says she respects her elders, so she felt like she had to go. Yeah. So there there they are. She's super nervous. He travels with a very large, very well-worn Bible right on his dashboard of his car. Oh, yeah. This guy is so into Christ. I know. (laughs) It's really his whole personality. It's his whole personality. Much like coffee has become Mariah Plath's whole personality. Agreed. Jesus is this guy's whole personality. That's all we got. He brings out his little kit and Mm -hmm. he anoints her. In the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Ghost, she can feel the cross on her forehead. And she's like, it would be funny if it actually worked. But she thinks it's witchcraft. Yeah. And she repeats under her breath repeatedly, I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed devil. Over and over and over again. He's he's anointing her with the oil of Christ. And she is praying for forgiveness uh, from Allah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. not good. Uh, Father Chris talks about how accepting Christ allows people into the gates of heaven. And can't wait for her to accept Christ as her personal savior. Okay, I have a question for you. Yeah. This is this is cynical. Okay. Okay. But wouldn't you just be like, yeah, okay, I accept Christ. And just like move on? I probably would, but I don't have a deeply held belief that is so antithetical to that. Right. Okay. You and I, I could you. fake it because we don't have a hard belief that yeah, this is like, an I would opposition be like, to. I'm just going to tell this dude what he needs to hear and move on my life. Right. Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. Let me do this mm-hmm. now. Mm-mm. She can't do that. Uh, so we're talking about heaven. He keeps thanking Jesus and she thinks it's way too much. She wonders if he'll it ever give it up. Much. No, it no, much. he won't, honey. No, You're he won't. Signing onto this means you are signing onto this forever. Yeah. Yeah. She feels forced. It's making her uncomfortable. And is, she this lo- the, is this the point where you have to kind of gauge how long is this guy going to be with us? Maybe. I mean, he, I mean, he does appear like to be very old. Health, right. <laughs> so he does I appear like, very old. Yeah, maybe I got five years of this. Is this a Jake Anthony marrying an old man situation maybe. with a DNR and maybe. keeping the children out of the, the hospital room? Yep. Maybe situation? you just have to be like, how much you do it. is going to go on? Really? Yeah, su- suffer through for the long haul. Because yeah. Chris is a cutie. Chris is a cutie. And she really seems to love him. She loves him and she, he loves her. So she feels like his family's creating this wedge. And if they don't back off and accept her boundaries, this relationship will not last. So girl, they will not do that. So you're going to have to make a choice. Yep. Next time on. Rosie prays with Muhammad and it's super cute. That is so cute. Yes. Yes. Super cute. She's, she's getting down in the prayer position and Mm -hmm. he's Mm -hmm. all pumped. It's very cute. He's worried that Rosie will be like the people from Ashley's family. Mm. No, they won't because they're going to be raised partly by you. Right. They'll be fine. And she calls him dumb and he's pissed. Okay. That goes well. Lensa tells Chris about his dad coming over to heal her and she feels very uncomfortable. (laughs) She wants him to be Muslim. He's worried about his family and hurting them. We get back to Lori and and Eli. Lori's family comes over and we talk about how she shouldn't have to convert to Mary. That's going to go well. Elmer and Lindsay fight as he is regressing hardcore after whatever happened with the family. So we don't know what happened with the While family. While wearing yet. their Liberty roofing the, their, gear. They do not miss an opportunity yeah. to have Liberty roofing mm-hmm. everywhere they can. Mm-hmm. His Amish bad habits are coming back. He's worried how they will bring, she's worried how they're going to bring this baby into the world. Amy, how often is he going to the car to masturbate to porn? Oh, I know. What? How I is know. coveted eyes like smoking at this point? <laughs> coveted eyes. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> is Kirk his Covenant Eyes partner? No. I know. I feel like Kirk's okay with porn. Oh, I feel yeah, like he's maybe, fine. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, so I don't who th- would it be? Maybe maybe Wilma. Or maybe Wilma. Maybe Wilma. <laughs> maybe not Wilma because he is still Amish. I don't think he can have a computer, but Wilma can. That's true. Maybe well, he and Wilma are of, Covenant Eyes buddies. <laughs> speaking of Covenant Eyes, that is so something I would expect to find on Barry Platt's computer. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Ethan, yeah. too. Ethan would put it yeah. on. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Ethan probably has a lot of self-loathing around porn. Micah, not so much. No. 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 Mm-mm. No covenant Mm-mm. eyes for Micah. I mean, he's living He's living in witness protection and terrified mm-hmm. of his girlfriend, mm-hmm. but yeah. he'll jerk it to porn. Yeah, he will. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't believe I just said that phrase. My mother is so proud. Well, it's better than his beard smells like you know what. <laughs> Which has scarred our backdoor friends for life. And they all agree with me. Mm-hmm. I know, but they're all scarred. Mm-hmm. That's fine. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you for taking the notes. My pleasure. My this pleasure. was a better episode. This was better. If yeah. this is what this whole show was, I wouldn't dread it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> I, did, I, I mean, I went in dreading it. I came out. Having enjoyed the episode. So let me ask you this. Right now, we record each week Sister Wives. Correct. Forbidden Love. Correct. Love After Lockup. Yes. Welcome to Plattville. Love Off the Grid. And Love Off the Grid. Of those five, what is your what is your most excited you can't wait to get on the mic and talk to me about? I think Plathville. I agree. And only because Sister Wives, we're still so far back. We're in the rewatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once we get to season 19, it's going to be Sister Wives. It'll be my favorite mm-hmm. thing to talk about. Mm-hmm. But Plathville, I think, is number one. Then Lalu is right behind it. I agree. And yeah. then Love Love Off the Grid for me is number Love three. Off the Grid is great. I agree. Mm-hmm. Forbidden Love is at the bottom. Yeah. 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 I it's agree. Okay. Something has to be at the bottom. They can't yeah. all be winners. Once we get back into Gypsy Rose. Yeah. we're. I say we, we replace Forbidden Love with Gypsy Rose. Yeah. Maybe we do. Mm-hmm. Wait, that, I'm timing wise. I don't know where it yeah. goes on tiers and stuff, but timing wise, we only have three more weeks of this. Then we can yes. go right back yes. to cut off. <sighs> By the way, I did look. So you had mentioned yesterday, well, maybe it was yesterday at some point that with the baby, um, Gypsy can only spend two nights at Ken's house a week. Mm-hmm. So I looked uh, whose house? Oh, Kean. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Scary. Kean. I did look up how far cutoff is from New Orleans. Okay. An hour and 15 minutes. It's not that bad. Okay, why doesn't he just move, like, right next off. door? Right. Right. Rent a house for a period of time. Yeah, I'm sure Rod would help you. I'm sure he would. Yeah. Maybe he could just stay at Rod's. He can't, He's not allowed to live with her. Oh. I don't know I, why. I don't either. But I, I guess she's she's just maybe not allowed to live with anybody who's not in her family, her immediate maybe. family. Maybe, because she, she could live with Ryan because they were married. Mm-hmm. Remember, that's mm-hmm. always the thing on Lalu is, like, these people have to be married to mm-hmm. parole to their homes. Yeah. So maybe that's the issue. Maybe. Or or you can always go back to your parents. They're never going to say you can't go back to your parents. Unless your parents are felons. Right. Remember, you can't go back to felons either. Yes. Yes. I don't know. Our girl is making a lot of poor choices. Uh, I think she spent a lot of time at Hobby Lobby with decorations for I'll baby. be here defending her to the end, though. I know. Mm-hmm. I know. She's I know. making poor choices, but what are the she's choices She's making poor she choices, but again, she's had a shitty situation. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 All right, Amanda, thank you. Backdoor friends, thank you so much for supporting us. If you'd like to support the show further, please consider signing up for our subscription service. Mm -hmm. I'm really trying to encourage everybody to get on Supercast. Supercast is where it is. As you may have seen, Patreon is doing this thing where they're going to be. Yeah, there's some fuckery going on. I will explain it further as we get closer to that time. Mm -hmm. But join us on Supercast. Link is in the show notes. You just click. It gives you an RSS link. It asks you. What Which player you want to put player in? do you use? You click it and boom, we're in there. It's very easy. The only thing is there's not the community conversation yes. part of yes. Supercast that there is in Patreon. And if you're going to sign up for Patreon, just do it on a on a web computer. browser. Yeah, yeah, just do it on a computer. Yeah. Not on the um, app. Uh, not through the app because Apple's going to charge you extra. If you're Apple, if you're an Android person, yeah, do no it, issues. However. Yep. Do whatever you want. Um, or you can subscribe through Apple subscription. So if you're listening mm-hmm. to this on Apple, just go Boink, and bink. Okay. Um, if you cannot join us there, please leave us a five star review. That'd be great. That'd We've be gotten great. some really lovely ones lately. Yes. Oh, somebody called me a gem. You are. It was the sweetest thing because you know how sometimes, like, it is almost my mission in life to stick up for the underdog, mm-hmm. and somebody sees that in me. You know yeah. when somebody sees you for like who you are, and you're like, yes, oh my god, this thank feels you. so good. Yes, that's, that's how it made me feel. So thank you to the backdoor friend who called me a gem. Yes. And I also I'm not sure you a gem to your mother. I'm not sure a lot of people will agree. But I, I do. Yeah. I know you do, and I love okay. you for it. Thank you. Okay, guys. Uh thank you so much. And Amanda and I are gonna be, by the time you hear this, we're on our way. Yeah. Yes. We will and be on the There will road. be a YouTube live. Yes. We're gonna do it. We're gonna announce it. Yeah, let's we're do it. We're gonna commit it. Commit we're to gonna it. commit to it. Wednesday. Wednesday. We don't know the time yet. No, we'll let you know the time. We have to have sweet, sweet wine in our hands. Yes. 
Yeah. We have to have we have to have wine. I'll have dry dry wine. You'll have sweet sweet wine. We'll have some snacks. The link will be in Backdoor Friends, so make sure you're in there. And I'll also I'll put it in Patreon so okay. that people who aren't on Facebook can get it. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.